Hey, this is Joel with Wise Hero back with another video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you our newest plugin for WordPress. Uh, it's called Wazify, um, and it's a it's a new front end editor that allows your customers to edit all their content on the front end of their website. Um, it's really easy, simple to use. You can see here, I can edit my text. I can even add some formatting. And then I can uh, also, you know, switch out images. Um, next, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial to show you how this works in practice and how easy it is to set up. So the first thing I'm doing here is adding my first set of settings. I'm going to add a setting for the header here that you can see on the right for my my page. I need to add the meta name, tooltip uh, as a little, you know, hint of what you're editing. Um, and then I'm going to put the placeholder. So if you reset your settings, that that's what will show up. Um, and then this is the most important part to tie into your page builder design. In this case, Gutenberg, um, I'm going to use an ID. So I'm going to create a custom ID on my Wazify, uh, setting here. And then I'm going to copy that over to where it says the HTML anchor on the Gutenberg page. Um, and that is actually an ID. Uh, it's the same thing as an anchor um, on the Gutenberg page. So now I'm adding uh, a second setting for the paragraph below the header here. Um, same thing as we did before, adding in the name of the, the label, the meta name, tooltip, um, and I'm going to add a placeholder. I'm going to go ahead and just copy over the placeholder text that I have in my design. That way my design resets um, if you reset the content uh, to that original uh, Morm Ipsum text. And then like I did in the last setting, I'm gonna go ahead and add my custom ID and then copy that over to the ID slash anchor area in Gutenberg for that section, for that block. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna do here um, is I'm gonna add an image setting um, so they can switch out the image of this image on the front end here um, that I have on my right hand side screen or window. Um, so, yep, I added the, you know, setting meta name, you know, adding a tooltip here. Uh, and then once again, I'll add the custom element and then copy that over uh, to the block over on my Gut on the Gutenberg side. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add some little extra settings to this block, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then I'm gonna save my page design, and then I'm gonna go to the front end so I can kind of show you guys how it looks to actually edit content on the front end with Wazify. So I click the Edit Wazify button up in the header, or the top bar, I mean, and then you will see that I'm able to now edit my content right on the front end with a nice uh, WYSIWYG editor. Um, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, add some text to my paragraph here. This will just make it really easy and simple um, for you to let your WAS customers edit the site on the front end without having to use any complex builders. Um, so you can see I can add a little extra styling within the paragraph. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch out my image. Really easy to do. And then um, in addition to being able to edit on the page, there's a sidebar where you can see all of your settings that you set. And you can also edit them here as well if you want to. All right. Now that I'm happy with my settings, I'm going to go ahead and save. Perfect. And you'll see that all my changes now show up. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to actually um, do, add a global setting to your site for the front end. Um, in this case, I'm going to show you how to set um, a primary button color and a secondary button color setting. Um, so, you know, similar to what we did just a, a moment ago, um, we, we fill in the necessary fields um, to hook up this uh, setting to the front end design. Um, so I added, you know, the, the name, the meta name, the tooltip, and since we selected 
uh, a color picker this time. We need to pick a color default. So we'll do that next right now. There we go. We'll go ahead and add our default color. And then, um, like we did before, we're going to add uh, a custom element, but it's going to be a little bit different this time because of the nature of Gutenberg. Um, so what we need to actually do is we need to add a custom ID like we did before, but in addition to that, I need to add the class from the actual button <clears throat> so we can change out that background color or the, the customer can change out the background color <clears throat> on the front end. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy over that class that, that Gutenberg provided and copy that in there on my Wazify settings page. And then I'm gonna create a, a custom class um, uh, in Wazify and attach that to this button. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and copy that over. And I'll add that to my Gutenberg design. All right. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a setting for the secondary button color. So the same thing we did before. Add in my settings. And the customer will, will be able to adjust their primary button color and secondary button color on the front end of the site. This is a global setting. So it won't just change the buttons on this page, but it'll change the buttons throughout the entire site, which is awesome. Giving your, your WAS customers that um, sort of control um, through a couple really simple settings. So once again, setting the color default, just like I did with the last one, I'll need to pull the class from the Gutenberg button by inspecting the HTML. Um, in other page builders, you won't have to do this, um, but in Gutenberg, with the way they built their buttons, you have to go in and inspect and find their unique class within the link, paste that into Wazify, and then like we did with the last, um, with the primary button, we're gonna go ahead and add our, our own custom class um, so we can attach the setting from Wazify to the button on Gutenberg. So I'm going ahead and adding that right now. All right, and then I'll copy that over to Wazify. There we go. And since it's a nested class, you wanna make sure you have a space between uh, the period and the class before it. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save my Wazify setting. And then I'm gonna save my uh, Gutenberg design. I'm gonna go to the front end. I'm gonna show you guys um, how easy it is for the customer to adjust the button colors on their site now. So I'm gonna to go to global settings since we set this as a global setting. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my primary button color. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to green. You'll see that it updates live on the page as you're editing. And I set the, second, uh, the secondary button color to purple. And I'll go ahead and save that. And there we go, it's that simple.